when the devil comes at you, maybe it's because you're trying to do something right. And for whatever reason, the devil got a hold of him, that of that circumstance. Speaking to Bishop. Did you see how Jada Smith was absolutely enraged at Chris Rock for making that demeaning joke about her? Also, did any of you get a chance to see what she said later on backstage at the Oscars? Stay tuned till the end to catch a glimpse of what she had to say about the whole thing. You definitely don't want to miss out on this one. Hold up, y'all. Before we go into the details of what actually happened and why Jada was so pissed, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. Anyway, I find it pretty hard to believe that anyone in today's day and age with so much exposure to social media is not aware of what went down at the Oscars a couple days ago. However, if you did miss out on it, let me take you through it. I suggest you take a seat right now and buckle up because this is a pretty chaotic journey. I mean, all of us know that award shows come with a certain level of drama and chaos, but this one just exceeded all our expectations. Not just award shows, but Oscars have had their fair share of tacky scandals in the past years. I mean, when I say this is even more shocking than when Angelina Jolie told everyone she was so in love with her brother during her acceptance speech for Best Supporting Actress, then kissing him on the lips at an after party, I really mean it. It is definitely up to par with this tacky deal. Here's a quick recap of what happened. On Sunday night's Oscar presentation, a really spectacular and crazy thing happened. This sent the world into a frenzy, drawing a lot of similarities to other iconic moments in the award show's long history. According to one Twitter user, Will Smith slapping Chris Rock might be more iconic than Kanye calling out Taylor Swift. I mean, I'd agree, y'all. During his set, Will Smith makes a beeline towards Rock after the comedian made a joke about his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. Members of the crowd were shocked and amused at first when Smith delivered an open-handed slap on Rock. The strike was picked up by the microphones on the stage. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me, Rock said, visibly shocked. The crowd at first may have assumed that the slap was a joke, but it rapidly became apparent that Smith's rage and the smack were serious. Keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth, Smith said as he walked back to his seat. He was so enraged by Chris Rock's joke about his wife that he said the entire phrase out loud twice. But what made him so angry? Before we start getting all pissed off at Will Smith for not respecting the etiquette of the event, let's see what triggered him so badly. It was a joke, but you might actually side with him after finding out what it was. Jada Pinkett Smith has been suffering from an illness called alopecia for a while now. This illness has caused her to lose her hair, but Chris Rock was not being as sensitive as he could have been about it when he made a joke about her hair loss and it irked Smith. On social media, Jada had repeatedly acknowledged the difficulties that she faced with hair loss. And for someone as smart as Chris Rock and the writers of the Academy, come on guys, you would have been aware of this. Anyway, it looked like Chris Rock somehow realized after getting slapped on international television that it was his mistake. How did we come to this conclusion? He immediately tried to lighten the situation by sending a message out to Jada. He said, Jada, I love ya. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. While Chris Rock did not openly apologize to Jada or Will Smith for the joke, he did try and get on the couple's good side with those two comments. What's crazier is only a few minutes after, Smith was awarded an Oscar for Best Actor in a Leading Role for his performance as tennis icon Richard Williams, the father of Serena and Venus. Did you think this was all the drama we had in store for you? Nope. There is so much more. As the pursuit of happiness star physically assaulted the comedian, everyone was shell-shocked. But the right representation of the shock was seen on Lupita Nyong'o's face, as her mouth made a huge oh, hearing Will Smith shell profanities at the comedian. The same reaction can be seen by a ton of other celebrities. However, Will Smith's own family decided to act differently. They had their stance about the whole thing as well. Let's start off with Will himself. We definitely know he was guilty for doing what he did. How do we know that? Well, he apologized twice to make up for it. 
As soon as he was called onto the stage for the Oscar, Smith talked to the media about his outburst. Oh man, Richard Williams was a fierce defender of his family, Smith said, relating his behavior to the role he had played in the film. I've been called on in my life to love people and to protect people and to be a river to my people. I know to do what we do, you gotta be able to take abuse. You gotta be able to have people talk crazy about you. In this business, you gotta be able to have people disrespecting you. And you gotta smile and you gotta pretend like that's okay. Smith later on apologized to the Academy and his fellow nominees after being named Best Actor shortly after the incident, saying, Art imitates life. I look like the crazy father, just like they said, but love will make you do crazy things. Later on, when things started getting heated up, Will Smith got onto his social media platforms to publicly apologize to Chris Rock for the assault. His post said the following, I would like to publicly apologize to you, Chris. Smith wrote via Instagram on March 28th. I was out of line and I was wrong. I was embarrassed and my actions were not indicative of the man I want to be. There is no place for violence in a world of love and kindness. So from what we can gauge, those two apologies were because Will Smith definitely regretted what he did. Now, the only thing is we don't know if his apologies were because of all the backlash or because he actually meant it. Anyway, now coming to the next of kin, Jaden Smith. The young man had a lot to say about his father acting out in public. One would think that a child belonging from Gen Z would be embarrassed about this public display of mental instability, but Jaden was not feeling that at all. Instead, at the time when Will Smith hit the stage to strike the comedian, the news spread like wildfire. Just then, a couple minutes later, we saw a tweet from Jaden. The tweet just said about six words, but they had a lot of pride and meaning underneath them. He said, and that's how we do it. Well, while father might be apologizing on global news, the son is boasting off to the world. If you think that was surprising, wait till you hear what Jada had to say about the entire ordeal. First of all, let's take a look at how Jada reacted while it was happening. Although her expressions are unclear in the video, we do see her back hunched as she laughs the entire deal away. While the actress left it at that, a source told ET that Jada was glad that Will stood up for her and that she was hurt by Chris's remark. But it looks like Jada was not happy about the whole thing. Jada Pinkett Smith wishes Will Smith didn't get physical with Chris Rock, but isn't angry with her husband about slapping the comedian for making a joke about her at the Oscars, a source claims. The couple is apparently in agreement that Smith overreacted and is all about the family and their kids. As Whoopi Goldberg, a governor of the Academy Awards yesterday said, she doesn't believe that his career will be marred by the slap. A source said, it was in the heat of the moment and it was him overreacting. He knows that she knows that. They're in agreement that he overreacted. They also said, Pinkett Smith is not a wallflower, nor one of these women that needs protecting. He really didn't need to do what he did. And that's it for today, y'all. Thanks for sticking around and check out some of these other videos we have for you. We promise to keep you updated on all the latest Hollywood news. Goodbye for now.